guys. Happy Monday. Um, I feel like I haven't done a video in a while, but this is a good time to do it. Um, it's a brand new week. I got some brand new goals. Um, I will share those with you in a different video. This video is all about our Fit for Free um, series that I'm going to be doing on the YouTube channel. And basically, it's a way for everyone to have access to free workouts and things that they can do out of the comfort of their own home, um, in a park, in a hotel room, while traveling, pretty much anywhere. They're going to require very minimal equipment, if none, um, and be quite easy to follow. So today's workout is going to be a lower body focused workout and all you're going to need is a little hand towel. Um, you can even use a paper towel and a mat if you wish to use a mat so stick around for that workout um, I'm gonna be posting either one or two videos a week for you guys so at the end of the eight weeks you're gonna have a bunch of different workouts that you can combine mix and match and make your own workout program and along this um, little challenge if you will I want to encourage you guys to get involved, to start making your own little videos, posts, take me on Instagram, Tasty Fitness, and Team Titan Kirby, because I want to see that you're actually doing them, I want to see that you're finding it useful, and at the end of the eight weeks, I'm going to give away a free macro lifestyle type of nutrition program for one of you, so then you're going to have the fitness part of it and you're going to have the nutrition part of it and you can get your fitness on and reach your fitness goals for free. So I hope that you guys enjoy this series. I hope that you find it useful. If you have anything in particular that you want me to do, any specific type of workouts, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, and then along the process, I will also be sharing with you guys a few little fit tips and tricks. Um, for staying fit on a budget, for eating on a budget, grocery shopping, etc. Um, and then today we are going to do my favorite budget friendly breakfast and it is so 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 good. So check it out, try it, let me know if you like it. Let's go make some food! Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our first at home exercise, our Fit for Free program. First day, we're gonna focus on lower body training. Um, you don't need anything but a towel for this exercise, for this entire workout. Um, I have a mat here just so I don't slide around, so you can use a towel if you don't have a mat, um, or you just can use nothing, really, you don't need anything. Um, so today we're gonna do four sets of each exercise. We're going to superset them, so do, do two back-to-back -back until we're done the four sets, and then we're going to move on to the next two. Uh, we're basically staying between 15 and 20 rep count today because we're not using weights. 
Uh, if you are going to add your own weights, you are more than welcome to. Uh, then you can lower the reps if need be, or if you find that you need more of a challenge, you can keep the reps at four or 15 to 20 and then keep it with your weights. This is a great place to start. So you can start with this. You're probably going to feel the burn without any um, resistance added to it. But again, like I said, you're more than welcome to add weights to the workout. So let's get started. Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to do voiceover for this just so I can take you through the form and what you should be doing. So we're starting off with the pause squats. You're holding at the bottom for two to four seconds. This is going to increase the load under tension when you don't have weight. Um, so it's a great way to increase the challenge of the exercise without adding any weight. So you're going to sit back into your heels, hold, breathe, push up, squeeze your glutes at the top. So you can see where I'm holding my hands. If you were to do a dumbbell or add some weight, um, you can go right ahead and put it where I have my hands and that would make it a goblet squat. Once you finish up your set of 15 to 20 reps, you're gonna move right into the next exercise and we're gonna go ahead and do prisoner kneels. So Scouty has decided to join me here. That's cool, he wants to fitness too. Um, so you're gonna start on one leg and you're gonna finish 15 to 20 reps before you switch to the other leg. So you can see I have my arms behind my head here. If you're gonna add a dumbbell, you can do it in front of you like a goblet, you can do it at your sides, or you can even do a bar behind your head. So with this exercise, you really wanna focus on pushing through the heel up into the hamstring and really using the glutes rather than just using your uh, quads for this one. So once you're finished up with this superset, you're gonna finish for four sets. We're gonna move right into the next one and we're gonna go on to one-legged glute bridges. Now you can start with two feet on the floor if you're a beginner. If not, go right ahead into the single-legged. So with this exercise, you really wanna push through the heel again. Get the hips up nice and high. Don't arch your back at the top though. You want it all glutes, not lower back. Push into the hamstrings, squeeze the glutes. You can see how I have my hands and arms position there. Um, that's just gonna stabilize me to ensure that I'm nice and secure and balanced and I'm not wobbling all over the place while doing the exercise. Moving right on into slider lunges, again, taking as little rest as possible to ensure we're getting our heart rate up, getting our sweat on, um, again, getting a good fat burn here. So you're gonna place one foot on top of a towel or paper towel Lola has decided to join me here and with control you're going to press through the front heel and you're going to use the front leg to stabilize while you slide the other back the slide back the other leg with full control. So you really want to feel it in the front leg, in the back of the hamstring and in the glutes. The one thing with this exercise, you really want to make sure that that back leg is just sliding back. You're not using it. You're only using the front leg and all the weight is on the front leg. So moving on into our third superset, you should really be feeling that burn by now, getting your sweat on. Um, now we're going to go into another slider exercise, but this time we're doing a lateral lunge more for the glute med. Um, it's also really good for the inner thighs on the standing leg and then moving into a curtsy lunge. So you can see it's a nice um, slow and controlled glide lateral and then right into the curtsy lunge. Behind again you're loading the leg that is not on the towel um, and you're using the leg that is not on the towel to pull your leg closer to you using your inner thighs and to push your leg behind you all in the hamstrings and in the glutes. Try to avoid sitting forward because you don't want a lot of um, quad pain and you don't want to push it into your knee. Moving right along into our kneeling squats. This is one of those exercises that is quite a bit more difficult than it looks, but it really is all about the mind and muscle connection. 
You're going to lift yourself up first through your hamstrings, then into your glutes. You're getting a lot of hip power from here. Um, this is a great way to improve your squats and to improve your deadlifts. You can do it with a dumbbell where I have my hands, or you can do it with a bar behind your back as well to make it more challenging. So really focusing on getting that glute squeeze at the top of the exercise. Last but not least, we got to finish it off with some jumps. You didn't think that you were going to get away with no jumping exercises here, so we had to do one. In and out jumps, these are great for the overall legs, great for cardio, and a great glute meat exercise. So you really want to focus on pushing out um, with the heels, but staying nice and light on your toes. You don't want a lot of impact on the knees here. So nice and light, like a butterfly, in and out, nice and controlled. Well, that was fun. I enjoyed it. The doggies enjoyed it. They clearly were interrupting me and wanting into the fun. Um, I had a good workout, got a good sweat session in. I hope you guys try the workout. I hope you enjoy the workout and add it into your daily routine. Um, it can take you anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes, really depending on your level. If you're busting through the supersets really quickly, it should probably only take about 20 minutes. Um, so I hope that you enjoy it. I hope you have a great first workout of our little fit for free adventure together. Um, if there's anything that you guys want to see specifically workout wise, any um, tools you want to see used or any information you need on eating on a budget, etc, etc, you can leave it below. This diva wants her butt scratched all the time. Um, leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos, any new events, and give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for watching.